Hi, everybody. So, on this wonderful Friday, me and Louie are in the nursery. I pulled out my tub of newborn items, went through most of it. Um, these are her little dresses. Don't have too many dresses. I thought I had more. I know I sold a lot, gifted a lot away. Um, yeah, so that's her little pile of dresses. I want to, I can't even tell you how many is over there. And then like, these are her rompers and those are like little sets, you know, that have tops and shorts. And then these like, they're little, like, I have two sets of overalls for her, a little jumper and these are pants and things. Um, these are all of her onesies. So I've already folded the onesies up and I have two that are short sleeve cut off onesies that were given to me. And then these right here are longer, wider onesies. So that's why they're not in this direction. So yeah, that's what I am doing on this Friday and I'm watching Crystal's video, Life with Crystal. She is, um, had her shells fixed. Her uncle came over and fixed her shelves and she's super excited about it. And uh, I always enjoy Crystal's videos. I just love them. So yeah, Louie is keeping mommy company. Oh, and I have, um, these are her sleepers right here. And then I have two cardigans for her. So a little fuzz. This is the storage unit that I bought yesterday at Walmart. Um, and that will go right into the closet. Up above is Zoe's clothes. So yeah, that's just going to go right into the closet very nicely. And I, I picked this particular shelving unit because it had three large drawers at the bottom. And then two slimmer uh, compartments on the top. And I wanted the smaller compartments up here for her socks and her shoes and then her headbands, and then whatever else I'm going to put up there. Because, you know, she's just smaller, and it will be nice to have all of her things all in one location, and not mix, like her shoes mixed with Zoe's shoes, because they don't wear the same size shoes. So, and the same size head headbands. Zoe has her head wraps, and um, Evangeline has her headbands, so it's nice just to have all of her stuff, Evangeline stuff, all right here, one central location. I only need the three drawers, uh, so I'll have onesies, rompers and pants and shorts, and then her sleepers. Yeah, we're good to go. I'll hang her dresses. I just have to scoot some of Zoe's over. I actually have another bar. Um, on the other side. So I can always hang Evangeline's clothes on the other side. Um, I couldn't put any of Evangeline's clothes in here because these are occupied by Zoe. Zoe has the two top, top drawers and Lucas has the two bottom drawers. So yeah, I just uh, <laughs> can't fit anymore. And then the top drawer has hats, hats and accessories for Zoe. So there was no space, no space for Evangeline. Absolutely none. And I have a three drawer bin in my guest bedroom for um, more boy items that I have. And it's not even full. It's, I think I've utilized maybe two of the drawers. So yeah, that's what's going on um, this Friday. Just taking it easy, trying to get organized. Um, this following week is going to be so busy for me. We are going to Washington. We're leaving the following Saturday. So I have to get things organized, ready to go for our trip. Decide which baby I'm bringing. Um, if you guys don't know by now, um, Caleb is no longer in my nursery. I don't know if you guys seen my Instagram post where I had put him up for adoption. If you missed that. Uh, yes, he was put up for adoption and he sold in a matter of 20 minutes <laughs> to a fabulous mommy on YouTube, which I will leave her link in the description bar. And you can go by and check her channel out. The box opening video is up of Caleb. She kept his name 
and she has made several videos with him. She adores Caleb. She has a very, very close bond with him, and I feel I made the right decision. I know some of you may be a little upset by that, but, you know, um, I had to do what was best for me and my collection, and uh, Evangelina's home now, so, yeah, we're just gonna move on, and, and that's all, uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about that, I don't really want to go too much into depth with it, but I'm just happy that he has a new mommy, and she loves him dearly, I can still see him, I see pictures of him on Instagram, and on, you know, now video on YouTube, and she is a wonderful, wonderful mommy to Caleb, and I'm very, very blessed, and Jude also has a wonderful mommy, and, I just couldn't be happier. You know, all I ever want is when I do relocate a baby for the new mommy to love them as much as I love them while I had them in my possession and care for them as I cared for them. You know, that's all we really do want. You know, sometimes you don't know who the new mommy is going to be. Thank goodness I've only sold one baby on eBay in the past and I didn't know who the mommy was. All of my other babies have been sold out into the reborn community and I know who the mommies are. I keep in contact with the mommies that have adopted my babies. So it's worked out beautifully for me. I have always had a wonderful experience with all of the adoptions that I have adopted babies out and the new mommies have loved the babies and I still keep in communication with all of them. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased. Um, let's see. So the only babies I have in my collection currently are Zoe, my Maisie Kit, my Saskia, which is Lucas, and my Ella Sculpt, which is Evangeline. It's so neat because I have Zoe, which is my big girl. So she's like that large three to some six months clothes. Then I have my Saskia, who is the perfect, perfect zero to three month baby. And then I have Evangeline, which is my newborn. So it's nice to have the three sizes. And it's working well for me right now. I don't feel too overwhelmed. So we'll just see. We'll see how things go. But I appreciate you guys on welcoming her home. Um, sticking around and watching my videos. Even though I know there's a lot of changes that go on in my collection. Those of you who have followed me from the beginning, who have stuck around, thank you. Who have stayed sub to me, even though I do switch my babies out periodically, thank you. Thank you for always watching my videos and leaving comments. I appreciate that dearly. Um, here is little Miss Evangeline keeping mommy company, actually, while I am organizing all of her clothes and she gets to sleep while mommy keeps busy. <laughs> my other two little ones are in the cradle in my room and I will pop on today and make a video with Lucas I need to change him into an outfit and yeah that's about it guys it's gonna be hotter than heck this coming week if you've seen my Instagram post you would have seen my weather report oh my gosh this week and the week that we're gone it is going to be uh awful 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 with the heat just oh good lord summer is here and it's not going anywhere so yeah i am definitely going to look forward to escaping the heat and going to washington and enjoying the fourth of july up there oh because it's in the 70s up there and beautiful oh i cannot wait i cannot wait i'm just so excited um praying still praying for a lot of folks in the community, Shelly, my beautiful friend, I love you. Um, I'm constantly thinking of you and keeping you in my prayers. Um, Yasmin's mother-in-law, who is doing very well and is recovering very nicely from her heart surgery, keeping her in my prayers. I have a lot of people in my prayers. I, I pray for, I always send out a mass prayer for all of my friends in the Reborn Dolly community um, because I love all of you and I just want to always keep 
a, a massive prayer out for everyone. You know, just one, one prayer up to the big man upstairs, uh, a general prayer. So yeah, I'll come back on this afternoon. Just want to, this was just like a quick um, update slash what's going on kind of vlog. And uh, yeah, we will change Lucas a little bit later. All right. Love y'all. Talk you talk to you all um, soon. All right. Bye. Well, let's see. How's, how's Louie doing? I think my partner here is passed out. Yeah. Hey, you're supposed to be hanging in there with me. You're just going to go to sleep on the job? Huh? You're going to go to sleep on the job? Come on. Really? All right. You you just you just take your nap. He's like, really, mom? I, I'm I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> All right, talk to you later, guys. Bye.